Very good morning children. Welcome back to my class. Hope you all are fit and fine while staying home. Well, today we are going to begin with another new topic from English grammar that is chapter 7, articles. Okay, so let's start. What are articles? We have three articles, a and the. So these are three articles we use in our English grammar. Okay. But children, before taking them into more detail, first of all, I think we should go through the definition of articles. Okay, so here I have written the definition of articles. Articles are special words used before nouns to define them as a specific or unspecific. Okay, so articles are such special words. These are the special words a and the. So, these are some special words which we use before nouns. Okay, we put them before nouns to define them, to make them as specific or unspecific. So, these articles only make the nouns as specific means in particular or unspecific means in general. So, these articles are only such words which makes the nouns as in particular or in general. Okay, children. So children, we use nouns in our day-to-day -day language, in our daily language. And we use these articles to make those nouns as specific or unspecific. We need to specify those nouns which we use in our day-to-day -day language. So with the help of these articles only, we designate them, we describe them as something, uh, something in particular or in general. So understood what is the function of these articles? These articles we put in front of nouns to make them specific or unspecific. They only describe the nouns as uh, in particular or in general. Okay children now let's see how many types of articles basically we have. So children look at the board we can very clearly see that articles are categorized into two categories that is indefinite and definite. So we have two categories of articles, indefinite and definite. A and these two articles falls under the category of indefinite articles. On the other hand, we have the. This article falls under the category of definite article. So this is definite article. Use for general things. We use this indefinite article a and an for general things. When we talk about the things in general, we use these two articles a and an. On the other hand, when we talk about the things in specific or in particular, we use definite article the. Okay. Indefinite article indicates person or thing in general. It always indicates about person or thing in general. General. On the other hand, definite article the, when we use it, it always indicate person or thing in particular. Okay. We use only for singular countable noun. So, indefinite article a and an, we always use to specify singular countable nouns. When the nouns are in singular form or, uh, or they are in a countable form, we use this are this are these two articles a and an. On the other hand, definite article the we use for singular as well as plural nouns. When the nouns either in singular form or in plural forms, we can use this definite article the. I hope you have understood till here. So children, look at here. How many alphabets we have in English? We have total 26 alphabets. Among those 26 alphabets, we have 5 vowels, A, E, I, O, U. These 5 letters or these 5 alphabets are vowels. On the other hand, we have 21 consonants, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Other than these vowels. Okay, so these 21 are consonants and these 5 are vowels. You must have learned about the vowels in previous classes also. So, children now look at here very carefully. I have written an, article an. So, we use this article for these vowel sound. When the nouns or the words are in singular form or begins with these vowel sound, we use article an. Like a noun apple. I am using article an, an apple. 
it is a noun and it is in singular form and beginning with a vowel sound or vowel letter a okay on the other hand we have 21 consonant sounds and when the nouns or when the words are in singular form and beginning with consonant sounds we use article a we use article a like uh, here i am taking one example like book okay if there is a book i will use article a to indicate a book to indicate or to specify it a book understood children let's see the usage of article and with some more examples okay but before using uh, article and we should remember one thing that we use article and before nouns which begins with vowel sounds okay and we have five vowels and i have written some examples of those nouns based on these vowels a e i o u okay so i have written uh, for a apple arrow e egg i for i i have written igloo ice cream for o i have written orange and owl for u i have written umbrella and uncle so these all the nouns are beginning with vowel sound so how i will use article and for singular for sing uh, for singular noun and beginning with vowel sound like an apple an arrow an egg an i an igloo an ice cream an orange an owl an umbrella an uncle okay so by seeing these examples we have come to know that we use article and uh, we we put the, this article and before noun which begins with vowel sounds okay which is in singular form and begins with these five vowel sounds okay children i hope you have understood till here now let's see children the usage of article a okay we use article a when the nouns when the nouns are in consonant sounds and as well as in singular form okay so here i have written some examples with consonant sounds let's see kite bicycle train flower chair toy all these are the nouns beginning with consonant sounds so what i will use for them article a a kite a bicycle a train a flower a chair a toy okay children so i hope you have understood very clearly where to use article and and where to use article a so uh, we have clearly understood till here that we use article and for the nouns beginnings with vowel sound on the other hand we use article a when the nouns beginning with consonant sounds okay children but children there are two exceptional conditions with the usage of these articles a and an okay look at carefully the first condition is we have some nouns or some words which begins with vowel letters like university beginning with u and union again u european e and uniform again you unit u so all these are vowel letters though they are beginning with vowel letters but they sounds like consonant y they sounds like consonant y like uh, read this word university university so it is sounding like u consonant sound like y y o u u so it is sounding like u so we have to focus on the sound we have to focus on the sound of these nouns so according to their sound we will not consider them as vowel sound but we will consider them consider them as consonant sound so which uh, which uh, article will use for them we will not use article and for them instead we will use article a a university a union 
a European, a uniform, a unit. Why we are using article a? Because though they are beginning with vowel letters, but they sounds like consonant y. Okay, children. On the other hand, we have second condition. Let's take some some examples for the second condition. The second exceptional condition we have regarding articles is we have some nouns or some words which begins with consonant letters, which begins with consonant letters, but they sounds like vowels, but they sounds like Vowels. Why? Because the first letter is silent. Here I have written four example of those nouns like honest, are, air, honorable. Okay. Why we uh, we don't read it as honest? How we pronounce it properly? Honest. Why honest? Because here H is silent in all these words. H is silent. This is are. We don't call it as how. We call it as are. And air, it is silent again. Honorable, it is silent. So in all these four examples, it is silent. So which sound is coming out? The next letter O. Here also O, E, O. And these second letters are vowels. So vowel sound, vowel sound is coming out. So which article we'll use for them? We will not put article A. Okay, which article we'll use for them? Uh, the articles which we use for vowel sound that is an, an honest, an are, an a, an honorable. Okay, so children till here we have understood that we have to focus on or we have to consider the sounds of the nouns before putting these articles in front of them to describe them or to designate the different kinds of nouns. Okay children, I hope you would have understood till here. That's all for today. Okay, thank you.